Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're diving into a topic that hits close to home for many homeowners. Will I lose money if I sell my house the way it is? It's a question that comes up often and we're here to break it down for you. So let's get started. Selling a house as is can be a tempting option, but it is crucial to understand the money you may be leaving on the table. We'll be exploring what it means to sub sell a house in a current condition and why some owners offer this approach. Selling as is basically means the seller is not making any warranties, any guarantees about the condition of the property, and in fact, may not even allow you to do an inspection. This is often seen in foreclosure properties. This definitely means they won't be making any repairs or any improvements. So you can see why as is may be a way that you want to go. So what are the pros and cons of selling as is? Of course, a lot of advantages start with time. It is usually a quicker sale, and it also can save money for you as a seller because you're not having to do repairs. It can be reduced to stress because of both of those things, closing quicker, quicker and not having to organize or do repairs or be in a house that's being remodeled. You are going to be attracting investors who are used to buying properties as is and are prepared to make repairs after the closing. And you also get to be clear about all the problems up front. You don't have to worry about somebody seeing something that they don't like about the house because you're completely clear. It's as is, it has this, this, and this wrong. And also it leaves you free up from liabilities because you are able to be completely upfront about anything that you know. So this is really good for a property maybe that you haven't lived in, you've inherited it, or for some other reason that you, it's maybe it's your investment property and you just don't wanna be a landlord anymore. It can release you from some liabilities about the property. You also, as offering it as is, are not gonna be negotiating for repairs or requests from buyers who want repairs because you're selling it as is. Now, on the other hand, the drawbacks of selling as is, is negotiating a fair price. You put it on the property, you know it's below market value because it needs some issues. It doesn't mean a buyer's not going to negotiate. They're still gonna try to negotiate a lower sales price, which means obviously you're gonna get less because you are trying to sell quicker and you're not making those repairs. It also lowers your buyer pool. Lots of buyers are first time home buyers and they may need a secondary more market loan, like FHA, VA, RD, all of those types of loans require that a house pass a health and safety inspection, a roof and heat and air that works, plumbing and electrical that works, and as its property is not going to do that. So therefore you're cutting down the possibilities of buyers who are eligible to buy your home, but you are opening it up to those investors. Now, on the other hand, most people think that selling as is going to be quicker. It could potentially take longer because it as is. It just really depends on what type of market we're in. Right now we're in a seller's market, so those, that's probably not going to happen that it's going to stay on the market very long. We don't have many as is foreclosure type properties right now, but if it was a buyer's market, it could take longer because buyers in a buyer's market are expecting sellers to do everything to get their house sold. There is still potential inspection issues that could come up and you could still have a buyer that asks for a repair even if you told them it as is. And you still, of course, need to disclose anything that you do know about the property, but it could cause a buyer to terminate an offer if they find out that the problems at the property are worse than they expected or that you will not make any repairs as you said in the beginning. So just be prepared for some of the drawbacks with selling as is. When considering to sell your house as is, you want to assess your property and see if it really is that bad. Is there some things that you could do to not necessarily be selling it as is, but still at a reduced price? You really want to evaluate the current state of the property and see all the improvements it really needs. Obviously, the more repairs needed, the lower the sales price is going to be, but you can still highlight a lot of the features and benefits of a property so that a buyer is interested in the property. There still can be issues that come up during inspection, even if you do or make repairs and improvements. But knowledge is power, especially in the real estate game. So you do wanna make sure that you are aware of the issues if you want to be. Some people don't even wanna know what's wrong. So you may not want to have an inspection, you may want to have some people come out and make some quotes if you think there are some issues that need to be addressed and see what that return on that investment be. Would it be worth it to put new floor in? Would it be worth it to have a painter come in? Would it be worth it to replace the heat and air? Just see 
how much your return on your investment can be, and I have other videos that talk about this, especially with energy efficient home improvements. So it is important to really evaluate your situation before you decide to proceed with selling as is. Once you have assessed the condition of your property and maybe gathered some quotes on what it would take to improve the property, then you can sit down and figure out, one, do I have the money to put into the property to do any of the use improvements or some or none? And secondly, what are my options? Could I get a short-term loan maybe, do the improvement, sell the property, and then pay those off? Or three, do I wanna go ahead and just sell the property as is. You also want to consider what that return on investment is. If you put a new heat and air in, how much more than the value are you going to get back when you go to sell the property? Is that improvement going to actually improve your bottom line or are you just putting the money in to get it right back out? Obviously that doesn't make it worth it. But you want to also consider the local market condition. If you're in a seller's market like we are right now, there aren't a lot of foreclosures and it's easier to sell as is because buyers are more willing to put the work in and make it their own. There's more opportunities for buyers available. There's more buyers in the pool. And so a seller's market is going to be easier to sell than in a buyer's market where they're wanting sellers to pay for everything to get it moving ready. You're obviously more than likely going to spend less on repairs and improvements than you would get for a return on your investment. So that's why it is important to not only assess the property, but really look at your numbers and see if it's worth it. Is it worth it to have it on the market when you're paying for taxes and insurance and maintenance and lawn care for those months that it's on the market? Or is it better just to put it out there and be done with it? There's lots of things that you need to consider about your life. What else is gonna happen in those next couple months? While you're waiting for that property to sell. So there's lots of numbers that you want to think about when you're selling as is or you want to make the improvements to the property and get another return. Whether you decide to list your property as is or in its peak condition, it is important to maximize the value of the property. You want to highlight all the key features and benefits, whether it's location or it's the view or it's the size of the home or the garage, whatever it is, make sure whatever is the best thing about your property that you are highlighting it. So if the buyer believes that they're major problems, they will offer less. You do want to be upfront about any issues, but try to minimize them as much as possible. You want to make sure that you disclose about any problems that you are aware of because you don't want the buyers to have any surprises down the road and then turn around and see you. That's the last thing we want. We don't want anybody in court. So make sure you tell them everything you know. And if you haven't lived at the property, that's much easier because you don't know because you haven't been there. You do want to make sure that you work with your local, local real estate agent and price the house competitively up front whether you're listing it as is or in great condition. You wanna make sure it's priced right so it gets the most buyers looking at it, coming to the home, driving by, all of that. So then when you price your home correctly, it will sell accordingly and it won't stay on the market too long. You do also wanna consider staging your property. Even if you're selling it as is, you can get that trash out of there. You can clean it up, you can declutter it, just do everything you can to make it look the best when people walk through the front door. So staging means that you just have a dinner table set up or a few things on the counter or a bedroom set up. That's pretty simple stuff to do. And if it makes your house sit on the market a shorter time period and get a better price, then why not? And those are simple things to do to make your value of your property the best it can be. Whether selling your house as is or in prime condition, it is a very stressful process. Selling your home, moving, the biggest stressors that you can ever go through in your lifetime. So it is important to reduce that stress as much as possible. One way to do that is selling as is so you don't have to deal with the repairs and you have less time on the market. Keep in mind this is not necessarily true, but it should help decrease your stress because you're not dealing with managing repairs, finding contractors, waiting for those repairs to be done, waiting in the house for renovations to happen, waiting for more showing appointments, waiting on offers to come after it's been on the market for a long time. So hopefully an as in con isn't condition sale does decrease your stress level. That is our job is to help take as much on as we can so that you can go on with your life as normal as possible and just take care of all the details. We wanna make sure that you manage your expectations up front though when you're selling as is because as mentioned before, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be quicker. So hopefully that the process can be less stressful as selling as is 
but when we start getting feedback that it's still priced too high and that it needs too much improvements and things like that, just be communicated with your real estate agent so you make sure that it is less stressful for you and consider what the buyers and the agents are saying as they show your property. If you're worried about losing money because you're selling your property as is, there may be some other ways that you could get around selling as is and not all going all the way to a prime condition property. As I mentioned before, many buyers, especially first time home buyers, are needing a house that's basically move in ready. But they don't, that doesn't mean that it's perfect home. It means that the home is in livable condition. That health and safety inspection only takes about five minutes. They just go by and see that the roof is good for five years, there's no peeling paint, the heat and air turns on, and the windows aren't broken. So if you can take care of those few things and make it eligible for a secondary market loan, that might be a way to go and then have strategic repairs done. Or like I said, you could also just go for cosmetic, make it look really pretty, paint the walls, put in new flooring, just so they, they can ooh and ah when they come in and then maybe when they get the inspection reports, they'll be like, I can take care of that. So there are things that you can do to make it so it's not completely as is, but it's not perfect either. Another option might be uh, uh, owner financing if the seller is able to do that and able to hold on to their property longer then that also opens it up to more bio you want to increase your buyer pool because if you get more buyers looking then you get more opportunities for making an offer so there just might be other alternatives that work for your situation so make sure that you consider all your options before you decide to sell your property as is Selling a house as is can be a quick and easy way to get rid of your property, but it's important to be aware of the potential impact on your bottom line. By understanding the factors that affect your home's price and taking steps to maximize your profit, you can minimize your losses and get the most out of your sale. If you're thinking about selling as is, download the info sheet in the description below or reach out to me if you have any questions. And if you're looking for ultimate selling tips, be sure to check out my video on this topic. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.